Here's more of a fun one, Boolean operations. The name's pretty crazy, but Boolean operations are just these little buttons on the toolbar that say union, subtract, intersect, and difference. And what these are are ways of combining two objects together to appear in four different ways. So if you guys want to start with the same document I'm starting with here, these flat weather icons, I designed this for you guys as a free download on LearnSketch.com. So head over to LearnSketch.com, go to freebies, and you'll find on here flat weather icons. So go ahead and download those if you want to follow along. Uh, so I'm going to start by zooming in on this third icon here. I'm going to click on it to select it. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command 2 to zoom me in on my selection. And then I'm going to double click to get inside this group here. And you'll see that I have Cloud 2 and I have Cloud 3. They are not at 100% opacity, or at least their fills are not at 100% opacity. So you can see that they kind of stack up on one another and get more bright where they overlap. Uh, there's something to that, and it, it has everything to do with these Boolean operations, and specifically the union operation. You can see where they overlap, they get stronger because there are two separate objects that are working together on top of one another. But if I select both of them, I use the shift key to select them both, I can hit the union button to make them one shape. And you guys can see now that I no longer see that overlap. They are now one shape, and that one shape has one fill to it. There are not two separate fills that are overlapping one another. If we look over here on the layers palette, you can see that it's called Cloud 2, and it's got a little disclosure triangle next to it. And if I click on that, I can see that there are still two clouds in there, because Sketch is really forgiving and it allows me to make changes later uh, if I decide that I don't like or if I want to reposition the objects that I've put together. They're not permanently merged, so it's not too late to go in there and make some changes. I'm going to collapse that though, and again, this is one object. It gets one fill, one border, one opacity, that's it. Uh, when I say one fill, I mean it shares a set of fills because Sketch allows you to have as many fills and borders as you'd like. Uh, but they're working together now. So that's what union is all about. Now if I want to do subtract, uh, you would probably be thinking, okay, let's hit undo, let's go back. Uh, since we chose union, we got to go back and do it again with subtract. But one of the other cool things is if you hit the disclosure triangle here next to your union of objects, you can see that cloud 2 is the bottom one, cloud 3 is the top one, and has a little icon next to it that represents the union that we did. If we click on that, we can switch it to subtract. We don't have to go back. We don't have to go all the way back. We can always switch this on the fly. So with subtract, the top object is working as sort of a cutout on the bottom object. So if I click away, uh, the top cloud just ate away at the bottom cloud. I can't see the top cloud aside from its silhouette against where it cut out the bottom cloud. So that's what subtract is all about. It's a pretty simple one. The top object subtracts from the bottom object. Now intersect is going to highlight and display only where the two objects overlap one another. So if the objects don't overlap one another at all, you won't see anything at all. So make sure your objects are overlapping one another because that overlap is what shows up. And then difference does just the opposite. It shows up only where the objects don't overlap. So again, if you have two objects that aren't overlapping, you won't see the effect. You'll see those two objects in their entirety. Uh, for example, if I drag this over here, uh, see there's no effect going on. It just looks like two clouds. But wherever they intersect with one another, uh, since I have difference selected, that intersection becomes transparent, whereas intersect was the opposite, it became visible. So that's what those Boolean operations are all about. If you set this on none, none means that you want the computer to figure out for you how to make these two paths interact with one another. What I mean by that is if I've got one little cloud inside of a big cloud, if a path has a subpath inside of it, it's probably because you're creating some sort of outline. Why else would you have one path inside of another path as one object? That's just kind of how that works. Uh, whereas if I drag it out and it starts to peek out, uh, the computer assumes that you want the inner part of this path to behave the way it behaved a moment ago, but the part that's sticking out you probably want to see, and that's probably why you have it sticking out. So all of these probabilities result in the computer doing what it wants to do. So if you wanted to do what you wanted to do, make sure that you click and you switch it from none to the specific type of interaction that you're going for. Otherwise, this will seemingly have a mind of its own, and it will get frustrating for you if that's the case.
So hopefully this is tutorial is helpful. Uh, I know that it's helpful to know how to merge shapes together because if you're anything like me and you don't like drawing freehand or if you're not very adept at drawing freehand, uh, you'll want to combine shapes together. And you can do an awful lot with combining shapes together. So if you guys like these kind of tricks, please subscribe. I will have more cool stuff coming soon.